Hello and welcome. This time I will give you an early access review for two VR puzzle games. Change Ranger, where you have to solve puzzles with the use of pausing time. The other game is Brain vs Zombies. In this game you have to solve puzzles by shooting avocado zombies. Both games were pretty fun and actually pretty funny to do. So I wanted to take a moment to tell you why. Change Ranger. Imagine that you are in some kind of sticky situation where an escape plan seems unreal. Let's say that you are some kind of superhero whose special power is to pause time. So you are able to sabotage the scene around you to be sure that you will survive. Doesn't that sound pretty useful if this was possible? Well now it is with Change Ranger. In each level you will find yourself in a sticky situation. You get a few moments to observe the scene and enemies around you. And then you pause the time and make your moves before the timer runs out. The game has several camera options for the view on your monitor, but inside your headset it will always be first person view. For this video I also recorded some spectator footage. There are two ways to make changes on the scene around you. One is to possess the bodies of your enemies and point their weapons elsewhere with the use of your VR controllers. Your arms will become their arms. The other way is to stand in front of them and to change the positions of their arms, wrists and hands in order to do the same. In each level you have to find an accurate pattern so that every enemy can die so you can survive. Once all the enemies are dead, then the level is completed. In some levels, you'll also have to listen and look around carefully for clues to solve that specific level. Sometimes certain objects on the map are required to complete the level. For example, in this level, you have to make the enemy shoot at this electricity box so that this thing can come down and hit all the enemies. Otherwise, you won't be able to solve this level. Another level has a driving car included. But with driving cars, you can simply turn the steering wheel to another direction and use it for your strategy. There is a demo available on Steam with 5 levels. When you completed those levels, you are able to sign up for a free DLC after the release of the game. The full version of the game should be released in March. Also, there are no certain details at this moment about the price for the game. Same thing for Brains vs Zombies. There is also a demo available on Steam, but no details yet about the price. Which takes us to Brain vs Zombies. Do you remember those 2D puzzle games where you have to aim and shoot a projectile which is mostly a bullet or a ball and hit as many enemies as possible with as less bullets as possible. I've played a couple of those games before and they kept me busy for quite some time. Brain vs Zombies is taking this genre to another level. The way of solving the levels is the same just as in 2D games of this kind. But it might not always be that simple in VR. In this game you are a test subject for a crazy weird scientist. In each level you'll be surrounded by avocado zombies. Each time you start with a limited amount of bullets and there is also a timer counting down for extra pressure. Once you are out of bullets or once the time runs out, then it's dinner time for the avocados. The levels are designed to use different strategies in order to save a bullet or two. In some levels, you'll have to use the surroundings to kill all those avocado zombies. Once you solve a couple of levels, you'll be introduced with special portal bullets. These bullets create a portal where you shoot them. You'll have to shoot two of them so there is one way in and one way out. In this level, you actually have to shoot those three avocados up there and make their bodies teleport inside the glass cages so they can hit the avocados inside. But I was trying to challenge myself and found another way to solve this level. As you can see, it is effective. Rain vs Zombies also have a demo available on Steam. That's all I can say for now about these games, but it was pretty funny to try them out.
I will leave links to the demos for anyone who wants to try them out and as well to the store pages in case you want to add them on your wishlist on Steam. I hope that this was interesting for you, thanks for watching this video and I see you next time. Salut!